for what's up. Yo, it's that time. So, I don't know what I'm doing, but I got this wig here. And I got this from Amazon. I'll put the link down below where you can get it. It's on my Amazon bike or haul video. But I'm about to dye it. And yes, I got the black dye. I'm not a professional. And I don't really know how to wear wigs too much, but we got to get into a situation. And I try to ask people on TikTok, like, should I? I got a few likes, but on my main accounts, I am shadow banned. This is like my biggest account, I'm shadow banned. Like, TikTok is really playing with me. But whatever. So, I got this situation. This situation. Container. Developer, because I'm not using the one in the box. I got gloves, splits, combs, plastic wrap, caps. Yeah, we got to do it up real, real quick. So, if I can just get my head. It's probably like, girl, you can put me in the corner and you can look at me. You don't never use me. I mean, I do, but that's real, like. Like, I used to do, like, little wigs and stuff all the time. Like, if y'all look at my other videos, I did. But I got my pain. And I'm just taking, like, little pins and stuff off the front because I'm about to wrap this whole head. <laughs> and I said whole, not whole, whole head. Because, um, I don't want to die to get on it because I got a glue situation right here. And I'm going to take my little swing wrap. And I know y'all, like, why you didn't use black dye? Because, for one, I'm not that good with bleach. Well, I'm probably pretty okay, I guess. But, why do that? Why do that? Why do that? Why cross those, those, um, waters? I'd rather stick to the lens that I'm used to. You know what I'm saying? So, the ribbon and the lens that I used to. I don't want cross emotions. But, this one was affordable, so hopefully I won't fumble. But I'm hoping, like, I can make, like, a blueless situation. Because I've been seeing people, like, do, like, this blueless option. Okay. Go ahead. Have my head. My head back and forth. Okay. How was my head back and forth? Now. One thing I'm going to tell you about this hair company that I didn't really get into, I don't think, in the initial haul. I'm just making sure that she's on here. You hear me? And I'm going to call her out real quick. Um, this hair is really soft. It doesn't have a weird smell or anything. It is. It's not true to length. But it was really affordable. So, I want you to keep this in mind. If you go on here with this company and you're trying to get a bust down. Because I don't want you to be like, you know, I can't mess with him because him then sent us over here and... The engine was the engine. But for the most part, I'm going to show you. And then the ends, I feel like, are really kind of thin. But I plan on cutting it. You get what I'm saying? So, I feel like if you're going to do, like, a um bob or something, I think this would be decent here. Plus, you see how that comb is? I don't have any shedding. And I'm just using, like, a regular comb with small teeth. So, like, it's not anything um really extreme. So, I think the hair is decent in that regard. So how I'm going to do this is, I, got two, I showed you colors, right? I got this, which is a caramel brown. And the reason why I'm using a developer, a different developer, is I feel, let me pin this down because I would hate to really be into it again. It's loud off. It's just loud off. Like, what you doing? Like, no, that ain't you. Um, but I don't like the developers that come in the box guys. First off, they're only like a value. The, the, the developers in the box guys is only like a 10, I believe. Or something like that. It's a very low. Let's whip it. And I don't got time. I want her to be colored. I want her to be colored. So, how I'm parting it is how I mean. How I want the color. I'm thinking I want something like that here. I want this blonde. And then probably like a little stripe like up there. But before I can do all of that and really get into these sections, let me put on some gloves. And I don't like using the gloves in a box. I like these more durable. Just like your box, especially like if you're going to be dealing with chemicals and things like that. Just my box. This is way more durable. And they're better. So what I'm going to do is, I got paper bubbles, yeah. Because I'm not watching nothing. I'm just throwing everything. We're just throwing it in the trash. Yeah, like that. So then I got this one. And I've been doing this a lot like this. I've been doing this a lot like this. So I don't know how much to use. But if you're going to do like me, and you're not really sure how much developer to use, I recommend you just measuring this, like the bottle, pouring this out, and then putting this in here to the line where this pop at, if that makes sense. So you see it stops like right here. Pour that out. You know what I'm saying? Pour it out. And then pour this in here. Yeah. But I don't, you know. And I probably could have been more organized. And did I just off camera? And that'll do it. And I know y'all probably think, um, I got like a wood tray. I'm not directly, everything is on this tray. This is the most tedious part.
But it is what it is. It's like, give me a time. Yeah, me, honestly. I like mixing my eyes by hand versus the bottle. I feel like it go faster, but whatever. You want to shake it? You can shake it. This is what I got so far. Now, this other one got a high lift booster in it. So, what I do is, since I'm only using half the packet, because I'm not using that much wine. And what's the point of wasting? What's the point? So, what I'm going to do is, what I like to do though with this high lift booster, I like to pour this into the developer first before I put the actual color in here. You can do your own, your own thing. Yeah, you can do your own thing. And I gotta use the phone because I don't got one of those brushes. I put the other one away. And I feel like this this high lip powder mixes pretty fast with the developer. Um it's not like when you mix most powders with liquid. I am gonna add a little bit more though. And I feel like I just spent like 20 minutes getting preparing to die. To actually die. The hair. But I feel like once I um mix my dyes, I can position my hair the way I need it to be. The way I need it to be. How I want it to be. And I'll never follow the direction I way to it, to the T, of what I, I want it to be, as long as I kind of get, like, the result of kind of where I want to be. But I say you work with whatever works best for you, and you get there. All right, so now, on this part, before I get any product anywhere, I got to kind of figure out, like, where and how much. I feel like if I stand up, I'd be like a real musician or a hair. Kind of mess. Kind of mess. Yes. All right. All right. So, I'm going to leave like this much hair in the back. And then when I get to the next section, when I get to the next section, I'm going to do it again when I change my gloves and stuff. So, yeah. Let's get into this work now. Let's get into this work. Let's get into this work. You see this? Yeah. And you're going to see how I break off each section because you get, yeah, you're going to see, you going to see. What's up? So it is the next day because it got late when I was dying this week. Hold on. So let me pause this show. But it was the next day. It's the next day. So let me show you what I'm working with on this week. So this is the color. And I'm absolutely liking it. So. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. So, the wig did die, but you see, like, I got a little bit of this, which I don't mind. I'm here for it. But you see these sections right here? I think I want it to be a little bit blonder. So, guys. Okay, guys, so it is the next day. It got so late last night when I did this. So, this is what I'm working with. It didn't get real blonde, but I'm here for the color. She cute. This is the front. I got a little situation with the roots, which I don't really mind. But these two pieces right here, I want them to be, this, this right here, I want it to be blonder. So I'm about to do that. Um, but these roots were a lot brighter. But I did go in with it with purple shampoo. And then I used silicone mix. So that's what we're about to do. These two pieces right here. I'm about to fix this. Now, when I was dying it, I let it die on for a long time. Do I think you're going to have to? No. I let the dye on for a long time because, you know, I use box dye. With a little kick of 30 Valium. With a little kick of 30 Valium.
Sorry, I'm getting mixed. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'll be concentrating. I'll be a little quiet. So. This process is the end. Also, like when I was doing this, I did apply a little heat to it. I did apply a little heat to it because I wanted it to have that heat because it's a wig. So I put the blow dryer on it so it could turn just a little bit. Hold on, real quick. Okay, so basically what I did was put it in the ponytail because I want this area to be lighter right here. But first, before I get too much into this, I'm gonna pull this back. Pull this back. And I'm gonna get my cord out of work. I'm gonna lace. Because I didn't get it yesterday. Okay. Now let me get this little area in the back. Make sure I get that even roll. Honestly, do I feel like y'all would have to do this if y'all get bleach? No. I feel like if y'all was to use like real bleach, I feel like this would take over really well. I honestly do. I just feel like I don't know enough about bleach myself, and I'm hearing stuff about that on um, BW30. And I don't want to chance it. Like me really messing up some stuff. Okay. So now I got that piece saturated. And I think I want a bigger portion because if I do do some shit, yeah, it's not that much. So I just feel like this is what I'm doing having to do in my general sets. Sorry. Some people be like, they can't walk in too long. I think I'm so people. Now, do I think I'm going to put, um, I'm thinking, like, that might be, like, my only real brown pieces that I want. So, I'll be back. I'll be back. But so far, this is what I got saturated. You see the front? And then I got the back. So, I'll be back. There we go. And that's what I'm We'll be back. What's up? So, I'm back. Don't be in my business. That's not your business. You know my hair was messed up. Okay, so. Let me comb this out. Because I just washed our girl. I forgot her name. Look at that dash. Look at that dye. Okay. It's giving exactly what I 
Mỹ có thế ghê Đúng, đúng rồi đấy Như vừa, người ta cũng mang đi Ok And You see, in between What I did Off camera is I just took my brush And I kind of like just brushed on lightly Just lightly I just brushed on like a little bit So I can have like a little low light to when I get it Yeah Look at me talking like I know what I'm doing now So what I'm about to do Is Section off the hair again And when I washed it out I washed it with purple shampoo So this is my piece right there And then I'm gonna get back here I'm just trying to make sure I get it all to separate. I just want to make sure that I get what I need out of it. And I'm, not, I'm okay like if I don't get all the pieces. So, but you're going to see. So this is what I'm working with in the back. And I'm working with the back first. And I'm going to take my fine tooth comb and just kind of comb through it. Yeah, that's a cute. So I'm using this developer. And I'm gonna use this because you gotta do um I think it's one part Wella, two parts developer. And I need Wella Wella um Wella um developer, so hold on. Wella developer. And this is about all I need, so I'm gonna probably just fill it to that line. I think. Hold on. If I measure this. Yeah, so about right here on this bottle, I have my one part. Gloves, so you know how to wrap. So one part, every two parts. One part, well up, two parts. So in my bow, I got my phone. And with my paintbrush, we paint. Saturate. I'm interested to see what color it is once it comes out since it didn't really lift that bright. But we like, we like to, uh, sorry, I had the camera on me. We like to experiment. There we go. The back is saturated. Now let me move on to the front. And I just now realized, like, every time I turn my manicure head, I'll be unscrewing it. I'll be unscrewing it. I'll be unscrewing it, baby. I just had a hard day. I just had a hard day. Look at me 
draw me. I'm an artiste. Hold on. But the thing I like about toners, um, even if my hair is not light, light enough, I feel like it cools. Toners cool. Um, thing. And you can literally use toners on every color out there. They have a wide array of toners for everything. For everything. For everything. I'm just putting um, toner like on my roots because I don't want them to be like as hot and as spicy. But let me um, let me um make sure it's saturated. Because like I would like like it, but I feel like we can always refine it. Uh, yeah, 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 we get. I'm just basically going in where I feel like the roots were hot. Hot roots is where they got too light. Cause we don't want that. We want a seamless kind of situation. We want us to look like we slayed all day. Like, kind of professional. You know? Like, we do this all day. But we don't, we don't. And it would help that I know, like, the camera went on. But we ain't hate it. Probably because this little girl be moving all the way around. So that's what I'm basically doing. Um, going in everywhere that there's hot roots. And I'm just basically um, fixing them. Because I don't, like, I like that the root is all right. They're all right. But it's not the go. Because the look I'm going for is like, um, out of me. You get what I'm saying? Out of me. I said, out of me. We're going out of me. And I can't believe I just did not record. Most of the time, and if anybody got any tips, let me know. Because. I wanted to have up in this finished look. <laughs> I heard plastic is good too when got in here, but somehow like the metals tone out um like Stop the chemicals. I don't know if that's true or not. So. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, I'm just messing with it. Without trying to smash my weed. And I just basically rubbed the rest of it all over the hair because I got low lights all through it and I wanted to catch whatever it catch. I'm not professional with it at all. So that's what I did with the rest of it. I think it's going to be freaking phenomenal. Look at that. That's going to be a bite. Alright guys, I'll be back after the process. I'm gonna put like a tap over it so I can process. See you in like 40 minutes. So that's what it says. 30 to 40. But I'm gonna give it 40 because I want this real honey. Okay, so I toned the hair. Y'all seen? I washed it out with purple shampoo again. I did silicone mix and then I use this. Okay? In total so far, I have not combed out the hair. This is freshly washed hair. But so far, this is how much hair I have lost. So I think we in pretty good shape. I'm gonna to comb this hair out real quick. And then kind of show you what we're working with. 
I'm not really gonna sell it. But it's just uh, uh okay, so y'all see it's lit or whatever. I feel like um I'm gonna calm this back, tilt this back, and try to calm this down just a little bit. Calm this down just a little bit, like that. Take like that, and then I'm just going to oh no, no that wasn't the vibe. Take little pieces and pull it out. So I can try to get a hairline. And that's what I'm going to do. Until I get the hairline um I need and I'm back. Okay, so I plucked a little bit of the edges, but I don't know if I'm gonna do a middle part or the side part. But I just know that, you know, I want to find my face with the highlight of color. But, um, yeah. So I put this much. Then I was like, you know, I already got, took so much of y'all time. So I put a little bit of this Reckon Extreme Play Safe or up to 450. And then I use my Revlon Blow Dryer. And then I just blow that girl out. Yep. Now the cap is still very much wet. But you see where like I got like all of this little lightning of color? That's from where I went in with the brush and I just brushed, brushed. The blind eye on last minute. You see that? So when the light hit it, you see all of that? Yeah. So it's the other side. Let me do something. Yeah, I wanted to. Yeah, I wanted to. Okay, I wanted to cut the flash on so you could really get into how rich this color is. Yeah. And still no shedding. This far is, I would say this is some pretty decent hair. It turned out to be for the low. This will be in my Amazon buys link. This is the body wave hair. Um, this is the body wave hair. If you have any questions, comments, put it in the comment section down below. I will link um, my links. It will be a link. You click on it and then you can just click on Amazon buy, Buys and then go to the Body Wave hair if you're interested and find it. Thank you so much for watching and follow me on all social media platforms. Oh, and by the way, I didn't know 
what the fuck I was doing. I just had vision. 